Hmm. Hey, what's up, guys? Hall Nguyen, OG Fitness. All right, so today, a little bit different because uh, I, my computer crashed, man. So I had to fix that. I got the blue screen of death. So now I'm doing this off my laptop. Anyways, today, the two best techniques for OGs, right? For like judo throws. <laughs> so in my opinion, and I'm going to explain this, Osoto, Ogoshi. Those would be my two go-to techniques. Um, the best bros, I think, for, for older guys. Now, what are the criteria that are I would you know put into place uh, that I put into place to decide on these two techniques? Well, I got them right here for you guys. First of all, <clears throat> as OGs, like we don't have all the time in the world. So one of the criteria to, to learn a technique and, you know, we want it and we, we want it uh, as soon as possible, right? So I think that a lot of judo techniques are complicated. So the first criteria, criteria is that it has to be simple, okay? Simple to learn. Obviously, as simple as possible, there's a lot of uh, things that, that go into these techniques. But I mean, overall, these are pretty simple. Right? And you can you can catch on to it pretty quick. Uh, it does not require a tremendous amount of time, okay, to get to become functional at these techniques. Like in one session, you you'll understand how to do it, and you'll be able to pull it off. Uh, then after that, it's it's about actually getting into position to be able to throw it off. But you know that's um, uh, that takes a little bit more practice and a little bit of more uh, training. But right away, like if you get into that position, you'd be able to hit the throw. You know so. Osoto Ogoshi, I'll show you guys the videos in a second. Um, also, can be easily performed without a gi. And I think I think this is important, guys, because the thing is, if you can only perform this with the gi and without it, it doesn't make any sense anymore. It just makes it a lot more complicated to learn. Whereas me, like when I'm showing a beginner's technique, let's say I want to show them my Osoto. Right. I'll just like, OK, like never mind grabbing the the color. OK, like in this way and doing it like that and the lapel, just grab, you know, over over the top like that. It makes it so much easier. And and then after that, grab the uh, grab the tricep, you know, instead of the sleeve. Right. So it just makes it so much more um, easier to to learn. Whereas if it's techniques where you really have to understand how to grip properly and, you know, do the kazushi and this and that. You still need to do kazushi, of course, in, in anything you do in, in judo. But yeah, it, it gets complicated, man. Like for example, um, like Tayotoshi. You kind of need the gi to do that, you know. Or somebody has to be wearing at least um, what do you call it? Uh, a long sleeve, you know, like shirt. If they wear a jacket, sure. Well, jacket, obviously, you know. Um, but if it's no gi, what you're gonna do it off the wrist? Yeah, you can. But you know, the chances of the guy like. You know, pulling himself uh, away from, from the throw is a lot, um, a lot higher. So yeah, I like it uh, where you could do both of these techniques, Ogoshi and Osoto. You could do it uh, without the gi, right? Now, also another criteria: no crazy balance needed. You don't have to be super well coordinated uh, on one leg and and be able to stand on one leg for you know uh, while hopping around and being you know, <laughs> all that crazy stuff. So you don't need to be super, super, um, have like tremendous balance to pull these off, right? Actually for maybe a little bit for Osoto, but Osoto, I mean, you're not, you're not trying to lift your leg up super high, not like uh, Uchimata. Um, you don't need crazy flexibility either. So you don't need to be going into a position where it requires you to be more flexible because so, so, some of us who are starting uh, later in life, well, we might not have that flexibility at this point in time, right? And so, yeah, you you don't want it to be like oh, a requirement for this technique to work. So no crazy flexibility needed. Heck, I would even argue almost none at all, to be honest, <clears throat> okay? And another criteria, on to the next one, is I want it to be a destructive technique, a technique that could do damage, damage. Why? Because... Not that we want to hurt people, but, you know, why not learn stuff that are uh, for good for self-defense too and to, to cause damage if need be, right? Now, 
Also, another criteria is I wanted something that where after the throw, because there's a lot of uh, criticism for people who don't maybe understand judo and you just look at Olympic uh, style judo. They're like, yeah, you know, it's kind of not practical because I, I throw the guy and then after that I get choked out, you know. Well, yeah, because if, you, if you're giving your back and you're doing um, uh, like a seo nage, but then if you do it where the arm is like more on here, the shoulder here or the other side, but, you know, then, yeah, but then you're kind of doing, doing it incorrectly, to be honest. Okay, so I wanted a throw where you can do, and then after the throw, you're, you're staying standing. So it's good for uh, self-defense. And also, you don't have to roll around in the ground. You know, it, it's a good thing because you guys have to remember that mm. judo, I mean, it's a sport, yes, but it's a martial art first. And it comes from Japanese jiu-jitsu, which is essentially the martial art of the samurai. So back in those days, people were fighting on battlefields. You didn't want to be, you don't roll on the ground for fun, right? Like, you don't, like sports, judo, yeah, obviously, you know, there's rules and all that. And, and you know, it, you want to roll on top of the guy to make sure you get the epon. But on a battlefield or on the streets, yeah, don't, don't, don't roll on the ground. Right? So you want to keep it standing up. So these two allow you to stay standing up. Obviously, like in competition, you can roll with it, but you know, you don't, you don't need to. All right. So let me show you what I mean. So those are those were my criteria for picking the two best techniques, uh, you know, for for OGs. Right. So let me and guys, if you want to. Look at technique in its original form. Type in whatever technique that you're thinking of and go to, and then just type in Kodokan. Kodokan is, well, you know, that's the official um, uh, name of the school there in Japan. And, uh, you know, this is where it comes from. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Perfect. I set that up there. Let me just press play on this. And then I will. Uh, <laughs> narrate a little bit mm -hmm. hey is that thing playing sorry guys it's my first time all right so you see boom step boom done also gary right this is considered a foot technique in the classification it's ashi waza so ashi for foot waza for technique Boom. You see how you could easily do this without a gi. You just put your hand over clothesline style, right? Grab the tricep, smash. Look, you're standing up after the throw. Excellent. Boom, right? You do. You have to get the kazushi, so you pull them a little bit off to the side, you know? And that's it. I mean, you know, obviously there's a lot of little details, but you could learn this in a couple of minutes <laughs> with proper instruction, right? Like you don't need to be... Uh, super athlete to, to be able to do this, right? Just got to pull them on the side a bit, get the weight on that one leg, and then kick it out of under underneath him. And honestly, the Kazushi is, he's already on that one leg, and he's already off balance. Now you just got to finish it with the foot. See, this is easy technique to learn. To, to And it's devastating, too. It's easy technique. You can learn it fast. And look, man, you know, that guy knows how to fall. If you don't know how to fall and I smash your head through the concrete, I don't even hold your arm because you're going to notice how he holds that arm Okay, that he's holding the, uh, da, 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 da. that's, uh, let's see here. This is my right arm. So let, he's holding that left arm to keep the shoulder from smashing to the ground. If he didn't do that, like if he just smashed the guy directly down, man, like the head snapped back, concussion, straight up. You know, so you got to be careful with this, guys. All right. So that was the Osoto. Now, do, let me get out of here and share you guys something else. Da, 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 da. Let, me, let me remove this. Okay. And I will share something else. Hey, how do I stop this guy? Stop screen share. All right. Boom, boom. Now let's go take a look at Ogoshi. Ogoshi, guys, you don't even have to have balance at all. I mean, you're literally standing on two feet and like it's very easy to learn. Of course, like, like 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 I said, it takes a little bit of practice to actually get into position, right, to be able to launch the person in the air and throw them. But other than that, it's uh, it's beautiful, man. 
All right, so Ogoshi. So once again, guys, Kodokan, right? Whatever technique in its original form. After that, you have, uh, you know, endless variations and setups, like anything. Okay, let me just widen that up there. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, let's take a look at Ogoshi together, boys. Hey, did I press play on that thing? Why is it not playing? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Sorry, guys. It was a lot better, obviously, when I had my computer, but give me a second. Okay, press play. Now run back to my screen here. All right. Ogoshi time. Hey, how come it's looking kind of weird? Give me a second, guys. I apologize for all this annoying thing. Okay, let me close this here. Okay, let me bring it back. Back to the beginning. Okay. Look at this. You're not even standing on one leg. You're just passing through your hip, right? And you can do this easily, no gi. So basically, you see that hand there, like in the back, it's gonna, the hand on the lapel, it's gonna end up on underhook style. Right, so he's holding it closer to the belt, but you could literally have it across the back. I've seen people show it a little slightly differently. So you don't have to grab the waist like that. You can, uh, but you could actually have underhook, more like closer to the omoplata. And you see he's holding um, you know, the sleeve, but you could add, you could easily do it by just holding the tricep, right? If you were to um, do it with no gi. But you see, you see, all you gotta do is pass your hip. Mm. And it's very easy for it to learn. It doesn't take a long time. You can you can hit this like very, very, uh, the first time, practically the first time you try it. You know, there's not like a, a tremendous amount of um, uh, technique and skill involved. I mean, yes, technique and skill, but I mean, you know, for you build to hit this, it's not gonna take you two hours there. You know, like I'll, I'll show you in five minutes, you, you'd be able to do it, boom. And it feels good too. It's like, it's a powerful throw too, man. You're really launching the guy uh, in the air like that. So let me just stop screen share there, go back to this. So that's it guys. These two throws, I believe in my opinion, are the two best ones for guys starting later in life in judo. Let's say you're starting out judo and you want two throws that you can use today, today, you know, after one session, with proper instruction from your instructor, you know, from your coach, from whoever. But yeah, you can, uh, and, and you'll be able to um, to smash guys um, who obviously, you know, don't know judo and who don't understand like what's going on, then you can just easily uh, throw them, right? But you gotta be careful with the throws, of course, you know, but they, and I think that what's fun about learning techniques that are easy to learn, that are applicable as well in no gi, that could be very devastating as well is that it gives you a sense of um, accomplishment faster, you know, because you, you, you pull this off and you're like, Oh man, I just, just learned a secret weapon that I could use on uh, unsuspecting <laughs> thugs who try to rob you, so to speak. But yeah, be careful with that guys. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, it gives you like an edge, you know, it's kind of like uh, in BJJ, right? Like if you, after a couple of months of, of uh, you know, rolling on the ground and all that, like, and if you were to do it, uh, you grab a big beginner, like a, even a 200 pound guy, you come and, you know, he doesn't know anything on the ground. Yeah, you, you'd, you'd, uh, you'd manhandle him, right? You treat him like a child. So these two throws here, really quick, like if you, if you understand and you practice them, like in one session, these two throws you can learn and you could definitely uh, pull them off on people um, if you if you manage to get into position, right? Which is another story. But I mean, if you end up in a grappling position, like where you're clinched up with the person, 
you could easily hit these throws if the person doesn't know what they're doing. If they don't have any grappling experience, so no wrestling, no judo, um, you know, you could you could hit it. You know, even if uh, if they're they're BJJ guys, but they don't have uh, takedown defense because they haven't trained it, then yeah, you could easily hit this. You know, while in the clinch and whammo, right? You're gonna uh, <laughs> you're gonna send the person on a ride. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. In the comments below those are my two um big throws that i would uh i would show to to older guys adults starting judo because i believe well yeah, they're the most devastating easy to learn and you can also uh do it with no gi right which is which is which is cool and you know all the other criteria that i mentioned so i don't want to go over them again but let me know what you guys think do you guys agree or do you guys have other uh, other ones that uh, that you think would be easier to learn, right? And along the same criteria, right? And all, along the same lines as this. So that's it, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. How do I stop this? All right, on this laptop here. Stop recording. Done.